and I'm running to serve you as the next president of the United States of America. Um, do you foresee yourself one day running for the president of the United States? <laughs> Thank you for being here. Thanks for the question. Um, Dana, since this is the, the last segment, ask me to be brief. And so I will. Uh, the answer is no. Um, but um, but I, I appreciate it. My, my wife was the only one to clap uh, during that. Uh, this is a defining moment of truth for this country and for every single one of us. And I'm not looking at 2020. And, and in fact, I'm, I'm completely ruling that out. Um, not going to do that. Uh, no matter what, win or lose, you're not going to run in win 2020. Win or lose, I, I'm, not, I'm not running in, in 2020. Um, I, I got to tell you, it, it's, it, it's incredibly flattering that anyone would ask me the question or that, that that's even um, up for discussion. But, but since people have asked, the answer is no. This moment of peril produces perhaps the greatest moment of promise for this country and for everyone inside of it. No? It's a, it's a definitive no. Like never? I mean, I, I, so uh, l l let me put it this way. Um, I, I promise to you and most importantly to the people of Texas that I'll serve every single day of a six year term in the United States Senate and I won't leave this state to go run for president. This is going to be a positive campaign that seeks to bring out the very best from every single one of us, that seeks to unite a very divided country. Definitively that no matter what happens tomorrow, you will not be a candidate for president in 2020. I will not be a candidate for president in 2020. Thanks. That's, I think, as definitive <laughs> as those sentences get. We put our labels and our differences aside to come together for the only thing that matters, the future of this country and the generations that will follow us. We may not be able to live in some of the cities that we call home today, like El Paso, Texas. We may not be able to grow our own food and our own fiber, feed and clothe ourselves in this country. And if you think that a little more than 300,000 immigrants and asylum seekers apprehended on the southern border is a problem, and I don't necessarily think that it is. The kind of migration and refugee flows that we will see when entire bands of this world are no longer habitable will be a crisis of a different magnitude altogether. I still want your help organizing where you live, bringing in friends and family and neighbors to the greatest grassroots campaign this country has ever seen. Well, I think he's got a lot of hand movement. I've never seen so much hand movement. I said, is he crazy or is that just the way he acts? So uh, I've never seen hand movement. I watched him a little while this morning doing, I assume it was some kind of a news conference. Uh, and I've actually never seen anything quite like it. Study it. I'm sure you'll agree. That I'm running to serve you as the next president of the United States of America.